The first thing you should do as a YouTuber is build an email list. If you have something that you can teach somebody, write the playbook for that video. At that time, I think I had 49,000 subscribers. My email list was 3,000 people. What I didn't know is that that's a seven-figure email list. Dang. If you have 300 subscribers, if you have 1,000, if you have 5,000, if you use this strategy, you can make 10,000 bucks in a week. You can make more. You gotta just press record. Hey, Think Media, Omar here, and I am so excited to get into this case study that I believe you can potentially make at least $10,000 in the next month on YouTube. I have with me Rob Abasolo. Uh, he's become the number one personal brand when it comes to Airbnb. We're here at this YouTube conference and he just shared with me a strategy that made him over $550,000. Mm -hmm. And so let's kind of get into this sure. and, and break it down. Yeah, okay, so first and foremost, I had a, I was consulting and I was teaching people how to Airbnb and I was charging $150 when I started. One of my clients paid me and he said, dude, this is really good. He's like, have you ever thought about launching a course? And I was like, no. I was like, this is great. I'm making 150 bucks or whatever. He's like, dude, I just paid $2,000 for some other guy's course in, in your space, a competitor of yours, and it sucks compared to your content. He was like, if you made it, I promise you people would, would come. I was like, okay, all right, maybe, weirdo. Anyways, <laughs> that kind of inceptioned me a little bit. And I get to the point where I'm like, okay, consulting is a grind. I was making ten to twenty thousand dollars consulting, teaching people how to do this, one and on how one. to do Airbnb one on one. So it's charging. taking up a lot of your time. Yeah, it was. It was great. It was great money, but it's you know I'm repeating the same <laughs> thing every single hour. How do I build a tiny house? Where do I build it? Okay. So when he said that, I was like, man, what if I didn't have to repeat the same thing five times a day for an hour at a time? Because you know it's like an hour. It's like a performance. You know, yeah. you close that computer and you're like. Whew, that was hard, you know? So anyways, I decided, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna launch a, a course. And I was like, maybe I'll charge 500. And then I was like, maybe I'll charge 997. Maybe I'll charge 1500 bucks. I was like, maybe I'll charge 2000, right? Towards the end. So first things first, when you want to do this, if you want to launch a course, you need a way to get that information to the people that want your course, right? So you have to build an email list. This is something that I wish I learned very, very early on. I learned it early on enough, but the first thing you should do as a YouTuber is build an email list. That mm -hmm. is the most number one non-negotiable thing. So the way you do that is you do what's called a lead magnet. A lead magnet is basically a PDF that gives value over what you're talking about. So I'm an Airbnb guy. I created a lead magnet that was called the top five glamping models. And I made videos about glamping and this and that. I said, hey, by the way, if you want it written down and you want my favorite vendors in the glamping space, click the link in the description down below and I'll, I'll give you a free PDF that teaches you that. Well, a lot of people were clicking that link and mm -hmm. I built this email list of 3,000 people. What I didn't know is that 3,000 people could make me multiple six, seven figures at the time. And so now when people are like, oh, I don't have a big email list, it's like 2,000 people. I'm like, that's a, that's a seven figure email list Dang. right there. You're like, you don't even know this, right? So first and foremost, get your email list, start a newsletter, get, uh, the, the easiest way I can say this is, is if you're a, a YouTuber that teaches people how to do something, write the playbook for that video. Like if uh, you're teaching someone how to organize their kitchen or if you're teaching someone how to basket weave, whatever, it doesn't matter. Make a PDF that teaches, that just writes out what your video is about. Step number two is warming up the email list. Okay, so you don't wanna just, I made this mistake early on, it probably would've made more money if I hadn't made this mistake, but as soon as you get that email, it starts sending out emails that are like, hey, how's it going? Like, you learned about this, and you can basically set up what's called like a, a nurture sequence or a drip sequence, where you send them like five emails over the course of a couple of weeks, and so that way they're like, oh, okay, like I'm familiar with this guy, he's sending me emails, I like him, right? That's the idea. Then you go on to step three, and you start creating what's called your YouTube launch, right? So the way I formulated this is, I was gonna release a course called Glamp Camp that taught people how to start a glamping business. And so what I wanted to do is create a four part series that teaches people the basics of starting a glamping business. Obviously I can't teach them everything, but I can at least get them excited, the opportunity, right? But the very important thing, like super mega important, is that when you tell that story, you gotta get them to click the lead magnet so you can get the email, but you have to hook them for the next video. Yes. So when you think about like a funnel, a funnel is like an upside down triangle, right? And it's someone's journey from the top of your, of your brand presence all the way down to purchase. I think of it more of a colander, right? Mm. They move down and they fall out along the way, but the most important people come out the bottom, right? right? You hook them and you say, at the end of the first video, you're like, hey, that's my video on how to make money with glamping. If you think, that's, if you think this video is good, just wait until the next one where I teach you how to do this with 
this mind-blowing thing. So yeah. in my case, I was like, just wait until I teach you how to do this with no money. Yeah. The second video is like, if you like this video on making it with no money, just wait till I teach you how to do it without even owning land, so right? Good. So everyone that's like really interested in doing this says, okay, wow, I am interested in that actually, yep. right? And then some people, the people that aren't gonna convert, that's aren't fine. gonna buy, they're like, yeah, okay. I mean, maybe, if, I, if your video comes up, maybe. But the people that are like, I want to, yep. they're gonna subscribe, they're gonna hit that notification bell. Yeah, and I think I just wanna point out, this is what we call circular video virality. And I know that's a gnarly phrase. Yeah, CVV. Yeah, so, but it's essentially giving people the next step. Mm -hmm. Like. I would say you should do this with every video you upload to YouTube is tell somebody where they should go next. Yeah, I keep getting them to go to the next one, right? I coincided the final video with the launch of my actual program, mm -hmm. all right? And so basically the way I did this is I launched this video and I'm like, hey, here's what I'm gonna teach you today. And before we get into it, I have some amazing news. Glamp Camp is available. And here was like a really important aspect of it. As I said that, there is a super at the bottom that says, click the link in the description for more info with two arrows on each side, just floating at the bottom. And most of the time, people would remove that super after three or four seconds. I left it on for a minute and a half. When I was talking to my buddy about it who recommended that specific trick, I was like, dude, it's so awkward. Like why? He's like, you should feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You should want to almost not upload the video. And I was yeah. like, all right. So you leave that and that's because the, there are people that already they're already ready to buy they're like yeah i'm in but i want to finish this video and yeah. so you just keep it floating so that they're like all right i'm going to pause the video and go here so that link in the description leads to what's called the vsl a video sales letter so it takes them to a website where they've got to watch a case study it's like a 10 minute video and you tell them about the opportunity and you basically start talking about objections that someone might have to the i don't know to whatever you're trying to teach Good. just 10 minutes i mean really like 12 okay. to 15 is ideal, okay. but like I didn't know what I was doing. And so you start listing the value, right? If you were to hire me as a consultant at my rate, this would cost you $15,000 to do this one thing, right? What do they call it? price juxtaposing? Right, price okay. anchoring as well, yeah. right? And so the idea is like, when I'm like, you know, when you get all of this, it, it's worth $25,000 because you want someone to say, oh, well, I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna spend that next. And then you say, well, because you know, you're here and blah, 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 like you actually get it today for 1997. So now someone's like, oh, okay. Steel. Well, that's still a lot, but that's not nearly as bad. I, I, that's good enough for me, right? And the very important differentiating factor though is like the buy now button that shows the price does not appear until on the screen, it's called like a time release button. It does not appear until you say the price. You, want, you can't let people to the next page where all the price shows up, because if they see it's, 2,000 bucks or whatever you want to charge before you even tell them what it's worth, they've already written you off. They've mm -hmm. already said, no, I'm not going to buy that. It's crazy. But if you help them understand why it's so valuable and all the things that you're giving them for an insanely low price, when you drop the price, it's like a no-brainer. You're creating a no-brainer offer. So good. So as soon as I say, you get all of this for 1997, the CTA shows up and it says, enroll now. They click on that. They go to the website where it's reinforced. It shows all the pricing, the value, and all that stuff. It's really good. And this is if you didn't do this, it could cost you tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So this was something that I didn't know going into it, but right, like I'm figuring it out. And I remember I launched this course and I was like, all right, I guess I just need to sit back and wait for the money to come in and uh, no sales. And I was like, dang. And what I didn't really realize was that like, they have to watch my whole YouTube video, which is 10 minutes. And then they go to the VSL, which is another 10, 12 minutes. Yeah. So at a minimum, you're not gonna get a sale for 20 minutes. But then people also need to think about it. It's not right. like people are like, I'm just gonna give you $2,000. It is $2,000. Yeah, it's like no one just spends that, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, and so basically, I've, I was like, no one bought, I'm a failure, I'm gonna go take a shower, maybe someone will have purchased when I come out. I end up getting my first sale in the, in the first hour, and I'm like, okay, cool, or is there gonna be more? And that day I ended with $20,000. 20, and that was like, okay, and then the next day was 40,000. The next day was 60,000. And where this strategy really, you light the, you pour gas on and you light, light it on fire is I launched this on a Monday. On Wednesday, I do a workshop that teaches people pretty much like a recap of the videos. Information they already know, they just need to be presented with this again, all right? And then at the very end of the workshop, I drop the offer, Wow. okay? But what's really important is you're not telling them that you're gonna sell them an offer or anything like that. You're, you're there to really provide value. On Wednesday, you send out multiple video emails that's like, hey, sign up for this workshop. On Thursday, you send out an email that says, hey, watch the replay of the workshop. On Friday, hey, I'm pulling this workshop down tonight at midnight if you don't watch it, which is true. I'm gonna teach you this, and if you don't watch it, you're gonna miss it, right? Mm -hmm. 
after Friday, you're all holds barred. The workshop no longer exists. You are now going straight to your offer. And here's where it starts getting interesting. You're sending an email out a day. On that Saturday, you send out two. And then on Sunday, you send out three. Mm -hmm. And it's real cringy to hit send on that Man. third email. And my friend was like, well, hey, every time you send out an email, you're going to make $10,000. And uh, he was right. So this was a strategy I used. And never in a million years did I think that it would actually result in $550,000 in a week. Wow. And the funny thing is the next day, technical issue, whatever, I sent out an email to the list and I'm like, hey, you know, some of you were in Pacific time and you know, I said it ended at midnight and you guys didn't get to buy. I'm gonna leave it open for one more day. Converted into another $80,000 in sales. I hired a graphic designer to help me with some of the lead magnets and course materials and I hired an editor. So mm -hmm. all in, I think I spent 15 to 20,000. Sure. And I did everything else by myself, yeah. the automations and everything. At that time, I think I had 49,000 subscribers. Mm. My email list was 3,000 people. Yeah. So genuinely, if you're watching this at home, if you have something that you can teach somebody, if, sell your brain, this is what I would say, sell your brain to people, monetize what you know, because you might feel like, oh, who am I to teach this? You know so much more than 99.9% .9 of the population, and people watch your content because they trust you, right? So if you have 300 subscribers, if you have 1,000, if you have 5,000, if you use this strategy, you can make 10,000 bucks in a week. Mm. You can make 20,000, you can make more. I really do think you, you can. You would say it all comes down to just how much people you can get in that email list. Mm -hmm. I hope you got value out of that conversation. Where can people find you? You can find me over <laughs> on YouTube at Raw Built. I'm the number one Airbnb channel That's on right. the internet. And also I'm just gonna say, big fan, I love you guys. I watched so much Think Media content when I got started into it. I still watch it. When I see your face on my algorithm, I watch it. It's the best YouTube content on the internet. Thank you for what you do. I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for y'all. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe.